Hi, I'm Nathaniel Deal, and this is the Ammo Counter Rival Adapter Installation video. In this video, we'll cover the installation of three Rival Blasters, the Rival Hera, Chaos, and the Zeus. The MK2 scopes included in these kits have been adjusted for the Rival Blasters. They also contain custom counts of 7, 12, 40, 45, 85, 99, and of course the count up option. They also contain Nerf rival mounts that attach to the blaster using two screws. In order to attach this to the blaster, you need to remove two screws and then remove one side of the adapters. Then sit this on top of your blaster and then reapply the adapter and reattach the two screws. First, we'll go over the Nerf rival hero installation. The internal build of this blaster did not permit the installation of an adapter like the other two, so this kit needed to be totally external, which makes it the easiest kit to install. It will come fully assembled, and to install, you simply need to attach the 3D printed muzzle to the front of the rival blaster. Simply push it until it snaps, and then it will be pressure fitted to the front securely. Then we need to attach the scope to the top of the blaster, first removing one of the mounts then attaching the scope to the rail and then reapplying the mount. After you have the mount in place, simply screw down the two screws to keep it connected to the blaster. That's it, now it's ready to go. Next we'll go over the Nerf Rival Chaos. The Rival Chaos kit comes in two parts, the adapter and the muzzle which is available in orange or black. To install the adapter, we must first remove all of the screws from the blaster housing. Once those are removed, take off the shell and locate the flywheel cage. The flywheel cage is held in by four screws. You need to remove these four screws and then gently lift the flywheel cage out of place. Now locate the stock barrel. The stock barrel has a section cut out the very top back that is very similar to the 3D printed adapter available in the kit. Make sure those two sections are lined up, remove the stock barrel, and then insert the 3D printed adapter. Once that's inserted, you want to route the wire out of place. Press down firmly and then grab the flywheel cage and return it back to its original position. Then return the four screws to secure the flywheel cage. Now we need to route the cable from the scope to the inside of the blaster. There is a section available around the front of the adapter that will work for this. So if you would like to route it out that section, just place it very close to the bottom of the 3D printed adapter. You can also use a Dremel to cut a hole in the blaster if you do not like this location. Once your cable is secure, it's time to reassemble the blaster. Return the top to the blaster, making sure not to pinch any wires, and then return the screws to the blaster shell. Finally, attach the scope to the top of the rail of your blaster using the same method as before. Now locate your 3D printed muzzle and attach it to the front of your adapter. Just push until it snaps on. This will be pressure fitted, it won't come off. Once you get everything installed, you're ready to go. Now let's go over the Nerf Rival Zeus. The Rival Zeus comes with an internal adapter very similar to the Chaos. To install the adapter, we first must remove all the screws from the blaster shell. Once you have those removed, gently lift off the top shell and locate the orange barrel assembly and the flywheel cage. We'll need to remove this assembly, so in order to remove it, we'll need to loosen the first two screws on the flywheel cage by a few turns. You do not have to remove them but just enough so that we can get the assembly out. Take the assembly out and remove the orange barrel section from the back. Now locate the rubber stopper and then remove that from the barrel. Now locate the 3D printed adapter available in your kit and push the plunger into the new part. Once that's installed, you wanna install the 3D printed barrel back into the orange muzzle. 
Once that's done, you want to locate a little tab on the back of the 3D printed barrel. That tab lines up with the tab on the flywheel cage. So line those up and gently push the assembly back into the blaster. Once you have that installed, return the two screws from the flywheel cage back into their original position. So now we'll have to route the cable similar to the Chaos. But unlike the Chaos, there's not a good place to run the wire without dremeling a hole. It doesn't have to be large, just big enough for the cable to run through and make sure that the section is somewhere less visible. I would suggest somewhere at the bottom or even on the other side of the shell behind the rails. There is a small section under the rails that you could easily cut out and run the cable through. Before we return the shell of this blaster, we need to cut out a small section from the other side of the shell. It's located right here on the front. You could take a hobby knife or a Dremel and just cut that out so that it won't interfere with the new 3D printed part. Once that's cut out, go ahead and take the top shell and return it to the blaster. Make sure that you route all of your wires out of the way and double check that you don't pinch any. Once the top shell is on, just return the screws as before. Then we need to route the scope either to the top using the same method as before or onto a 90 degree adapter that is available in the shop. That's it. I just also would like to note that I am working on the Nemesis, the Apollo, and the Atlas. So stay tuned for those kits and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.